Uh, all right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakodash, Lavalam Yom. Double honors to the elder apostle Great Millstone, who teach me what in these last days and what the truth is of the nation of Israel. I want to give a strong Shalom to all the Akim on the four corners of the earth, pushing toward the truth and sincerity, making the call and election sure. And I will give a humble salutation uh, to the hopeful elect, tuning in the four corners of the earth, wherever your habitation may be at. Uh, this is Brother Mashal. Come back at your request, listen to the spirit, power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. I'll say the water, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, forgive me the spirit and having the mercy uh, for me to do this lesson and to uh, feed the sheep. Um, and today I'm going to go in about uh, uh, being lukewarm, you know. Uh, you know, we have a, you know, Jake has a, a, a slothful problem, man, you know, a laziness problem, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we tend to, uh, you know, bring the, the laziness in from the world into the truth, you know? And this is not the thing that, that this is not the type of uh, uh, thing that you want to be, uh, you know, not sure about, man. Either you're going to go all in or you're not, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we're going to start off in Revelation 3 and verse 15. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor, cold nor hot. I would, I would thou were cold or hot. So you have what saying, that he, he, he would rather you either be either or, not in between. You know what I'm saying? Uh, verse 16, so then because thou art lukewarm, right, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. So let's look up, let me see what that word for lukewarm is. Strong's G, 5513, Chliaras, Chliaras. Right, so it says, um, uh, tepid, lukewarm. Um, let's see. Let's look at this word, tepid. Uh, okay, it's an adjective. It says especially of a liquid, right? But we know we already know what that means. It says only slightly warm, uh, lukewarm. And this is the point right here that we want, showing little enthusiasm. You know what I'm saying? So you just you just basically going with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going out and making things uh, happen, you know, through the spirit and power of your heart, your shy, man. You just you just you just happy to be an Israelite, man. You know what I'm saying? You just happy to to uh you know to know that that uh you have the promises coming you know what i'm saying but the but two but two-thirds of our people are gonna die a, a painful death and the ones that are lukewarm the ones that know this truth and but not not uh being hot for this thing you know what i'm saying it's gonna die right along with them all right so it says tepid lukewarm it says a metaphor of the condition of the soul wretchedly fluctuating right going back and forth between a topor and a uh, fever of love, fervor of love, you know? So let's look at the word top topor. Is that how you call it? What's up? Uh, topor. Uh, a state of physical or mental in who a state of uh, physical or mental inactivity lethargy you don't want to be lethargic man you know what I'm saying lazy slothful you know going with the flow you know and then a fever of love, uh, a fervor of love meaning on fire for this thing so you see lukewarm lukewarm men and women are fluctuating you know what I'm saying have one foot in and one foot out and we don't want to be in that uh, in that in that spirit. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy uh, chapter five, and we're gonna start at verse uh, twenty-nine. It says, 
Oh, that there was such an heart in them and the, that them being the Israelites, right? That they would fear me because when you're lukewarm, you don't fear you. How about you, shy, man? You know, you can't be, you know, say it's no, well, I fear the Lord, but I'm still, uh, I'm still, uh, you know, eating swine. You know, it ain't no, I, I feel, the, I fear the Lord, but uh, I'm still profaning the Sabbath days. You know, people, people don't really fear you. How about you, shy, man? And, and you know what I'm saying, and, and and this is the this is the problem, man, with with, with Jake, man, because they think they, they can finesse the Most High, like they've been, they like like they've been finessing people in the world. It ain't like that, right? So it says, "Oh, that there were such a heart in them that they would fear me and keep all my commandments always, right? Always, we'll always have to keep these commandments to the best of our ability." It says that it what it might be well with them and their children forever. You see, so that's why the, the man that you see on the highways and hedges and the, and the, the few sisters that that watch and keep and keep uh you know and keep their household in order and, and their uh and 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 our good help meets are going to be blessed, man. And you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to go well with us and and our children forever. You know, and the two thirds uh, that are, that's going to get destroyed will be our children in the in the uh in the, in the kingdom. Because the two thirds that, that get destroyed will be uh, brought back in the kingdom of heaven through the loins of the, the elect men of the nation of Israel. All right, so we have to we have to fear the Most High, man. What does it say in uh in the apocrypha? Um, and with uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter one. And right here in 13, it says, Whoso feareth the Lord, it shall go with him when at the last, right? And he shall find favor in the day of his death. So that's all that's all we want, man, is, is favor, man. Mercy. So the elect man and the, and a few and a few uh, righteous sisters will, will fear the Lord, man, wholeheartedly. You know what I'm saying? Not thinking that they 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 uh, that the Most High is gonna overlook them. It's not gonna happen. You know. Um, let's go to uh, uh, Psalms 81. Psalms 81, and let's go start a verse 11. It says, but my people will not hearken unto my voice, and Yasharala would none of me. You see? So how, and how does, and how Bashim Yashara speak to the people? Through the prophets. You know what I'm saying? Through these video epistles, man. Through what's uh, being out on the, on, the, on, the, on the street corners, man. Right? But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Yasharala would none of me. We don't even want none of the Most High, man. And so what happens in verse, so verse 12? So I gave them up unto their own hearts and lusts, and they walk in their own counsels. You see? Now, a lot of our people are walking in, in, in uh, their own counsels, man. Thinking that, you know, just because they know that they're Israelite, meaning they're, they're going to get saved. And that's not, that's not, um, that's not even close to true. You know, it's it's more than just knowing you're Israelite, man. You know, so it's it's more than just you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, half-assing it, man. You know, because when you're when you're half-assing it, what do you do? You're walking in your own council. And the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Hashai, gave them up to their own lusts, their own minds' lusts. So this is why you, we we can't, you know, uh, some people can't give up uh, certain things that's going on in their life. You know, because Yahweh Bashim Hashem has given them up to their own heart's lust, man. Whatever you think of is right. That's what you're going. That's what you're doing. You know, and they're walking in their own counsels. Uh, verse thir uh, thirteen: All that my people had hearkened unto me, and Yasharala had walked in my ways. You see, that's that's all we we're supposed to be doing is listening and 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 uh and and doing, listening and doing. But what, but what happens? We don't listen and we do our own. You know, uh, 
what's that? Uh, what's that? Um, I think it's Proverbs, Proverbs 24. Uh, maybe it's 20 of verse 24. Now let's see, uh, Let's see. Hold on, so I can. Uh, okay, Proverbs twenty eight. Twenty-six. It says, "He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered." So a lot of people are lukewarm. Why? Because they're trusting in their own heart, trusting in their own mind, thinking that just because you know uh, I try to do the right thing, that the most awesome deliver me. No, man. It ain't about what you think. It's, it ain't about how you feel, man. It's about doing the, the what the words say in the book. If the words in the book say, hey, man, keep my Sabbath to the best of your ability, that's what we should be doing, man. If the scriptures say, hey, stop getting drunk and waste it out of your mind, that's what we, that's what, that's what we should be doing. If the scriptures say, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, put the black and miles down, you know what I'm saying? That's what, that's, what, that's what we should be doing. But see, people trust in their own heart, man. Like Yahweh Shah is gonna is gonna be like, well, you know, we know I know we I know you for a while and you know what I'm saying. No. What happened what happened with uh with Noah? Let's go to uh Genesis Um I think it's Genesis five, I think it is. No. Okay. You know what? Let's see. It's verse verse uh, chapter verse six, chapter six. I like you. Uh, let's start at verse. Uh, five. It says, and the heavenly Father saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. See, so people, so this is so people was uh, trusting in their own heart back then too. That every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually, man. And see, when pe when we when we lean our, on our own understanding, we're gonna have we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna think that we're doing right, but we're actually doing evil, man. And it's uh, verse six, and he repented Yahweh Bashim Yashah that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. And, uh, and Yahweh Bashim Yashah said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I made them. You see, but Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yashah. So, see, so this is so Jake has been walking in their own way since the beginning, man. And he and Yahweh Bashim Yashah destroyed everybody off the face of the earth except eight people. But we in today's uh, right now think that all right. Well, I'm, I'm gonna continue, I, even though I know I'm doing wickedness. The Most High is gonna forgive me for doing that. No, 
Because this is the last captivity, man. It is, it is no more after this. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get it right. You know, or or you're gonna die a, a, a horrible, a horrible and painful death. You know why? Uh let's go to uh Joshua uh twenty four. Joshua 24 and 15. Now, let's start at verse 14. It says, now, therefore, okay, here we go with the, with the fear word. Fear Yahweh Bashim Yashah. We got to fear Yahweh Bashim Yashah, man. Not just, just walk around and, and think that everything is all good. And then when, when, when judgment day comes, you know, that, hey, that's, that's why, man, the scripture is beautiful. That's why Yahweh Shah said, man, there's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. You know, because the, the Yahweh Shai didn't, didn't say that for no reason. It's going to be people that, that think that everything's all good, man, until they, they feel that, that the, the heat from that fire, man. Why? Because they can't put away the worldly things that's, that's keeping them lukewarm. All right. So it says, uh, verse 20, uh, 14, Now therefore fear Yahweh Bashim Shai. And serve him what? In sincerity and in truth. Let's look at that word sincerity. Strong's H, 8549. Tamim. Tamim. All right, let's, uh, it says complete. Whoo, complete, whole, entire sound. You see, so when you're lukewarm and you're you're one, with one foot in and one foot out, you're not completely serving the Lord, man. Let's go down here. Um, without blemish, complete, full, perfect. You got to perfectly serve the Lord, man. What is that? A hundred percent. Either you win. If you if you're doing this thing with ninety percent, you you lukewarm. If you got ninety nine percent, man, you lukewarm. What did what did uh what did Paul say, man? See, we we don't read the scriptures. Paul said in uh in First Corinthians, uh chapter nine, right? That this is a race, man. Uh nine and nine and twenty four. It says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. What is the prize? The kingdom of heaven. So run that you may obtain. So we're running for this thing, huh? You see, but people have it in their head that, well, I know I'm an Israelite, then I'm a, how about you going to look out for me? No. Because with that attitude, we don't understand that it's, gonna, it's other people that's out here trying to make the call an election also. You know, so why, so, so, so why some, some brothers is, is freaking up black and miles and saying they in the truth. You got, you got another person that's putting, uh, that day is, is stop smoking for the, for the, for this word, man, for this truth. So they can, uh, win this prize. We're all striving for, for spots, man. You, people think that this is just a, a buffet. You can just get whatever you want. You know, you pay one price and you can get as much food as you want. So no, man. This whole this whole thing of ours is a race, man. It says, but one receiveth the prize. That prize is the kingdom of heaven. So everybody's running. You know, even two thirds of our people, they're running. You know, but they don't know what they're running for. Some of them, some of them are, are running in the wrong or in, in the opposite direction. You know what I'm saying? Some of them are running and they're going to get tired in the middle, in the middle of the race. But only the elect are going to receive, run to the end and receive that prize, man. So run that ye may obtain. You see, so we're, 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 uh, we're, we're serving the Lord in truth, uh, in sincerity and in truth, man. Sincerity, complete, whole, entire, and sound. Um... Okay, so uh, now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. 
put away the gods which your fathers have served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt and serve you the Lord. So we're serving the Yahabashi Mashiach right now, man. How? By doing it in sincerity and the truth, man. By cast, by putting off all the worldly things as as as, as best as we can. You know, we're not, you know, you, you're not going to see a, a brother of Yahabashi Mashiach or a man of Yahabashi Mashiach you're freaking up a black and mild at camp, man. You know, you're not going to see him, uh, you know, uh, bringing a pork chop to camp. You know, or, or uh, you know, bringing birthday uh, cake to camp. Why? Because we're doing this in sincerity and in truth, man. We're, we're doing this uh, 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 wholeheartedly, man. Right? At verse 15, it says, And if it, and if it seem evil uh, unto you to serve Yahweh Bashim Yashad, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the god of the Amorites, or in, in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve your Habashim Yashad. So man, it don't really matter what what the what what uh you know what y'all what you what y'all do, man. You know what I'm saying? But my job is to, is to let let you know this is this this is what it is. This is what the, what your Habashim Yashad expects from you. You know, and then you're gonna take it how you want to take it. You know, but. Hey, as, as far as for me and my house, me and my wife and my children, we're going to serve you how about you, my shot, man. All I'm doing is getting the blood off my hands. You know, when I'm out here on the, on the highways and hedges, or the brothers out here on the highways and hedges, that's all we're doing, man, is getting the blood off our hands, man. Right? But as for me and my house, we will serve you how about you, my shot. And this is the, the mindset that every uh, uh, elect uh man is gonna is gonna is gonna uh, buy by and then you have the righteous uh one third who the most high is gonna have mercy on and he's not gonna have mercy on the ones that's doing doing wickedness and knowing that they're doing wickedness man you know uh what's that he uh hebrews uh 10. hebrews 10 and 26 for if we sin willfully right Willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins. See, so that's being lukewarm. If when you sin it willfully, man, because you know what sin is. Let's look at this word willfully. Strong's G, 1596. Hecusios. Hecusios. Okay, it says, uh, voluntarily, willingly of one's own accord. To sin willfully as opposed to sins committed uh, inconsiderately and from ignorance or from weakness. You see? So is the, you, so you, when you voluntarily sin, man, you know, and when you volunteer for something, you, you do something willingly. And there we go, real willingly. All right. So we can't we can't be walking uh, in 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 our own judgments, man. You know what I'm saying? Thinking that everything's all good. Let's hold on. You know what? Uh, respect the persons. Proverbs 24 and 23. These things also belong to the wise. It is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. You see, so in judgment day, and what and what's and what's the judgment that's coming is is Yahweh Shai rebuking with flames of fire, these nuclear missiles, man. And oh, he's not going to have respect of persons in in, in in judgment. So this is so so this is why you know some brothers and sisters' lives is all jacked up, man, because they that because they're lukewarm. And the Most High judge you for that. Romans two and eleven. For there is no respect of persons with the heavenly Father. You know it ain't no you. You ain't no well. Well, uh, you know I'm I'm a shawl and you know I know the, you know the Most High's gonna have mercy on me because I just gotta I just have a feeling. Man, ain't no feelings, man. You either in this or you're not. I'm pre I'm pretty sure it was plenty of people back in those days that had a feeling that uh you know they were they were doing the right thing. There were plenty of righteous men that went into captivity uh, with with, uh, with Jeremiah. Uh, Jer let's go, Jeremiah. Jeremiah seventeen 
in verse 4, it says, And now even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee, right, to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall uh, burn forever. You see? So even Jeremiah uh, went into captivity. And what did, what, did, what did the Most High say to Jeremiah? He said, I've known you from the belly, man. I have chosen you. Jeremiah 1 and 5, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Uh, then said, I, I, Lord, Yahweh Bashi Mashiach, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But Yahweh Bashi Mashiach said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. So Yahweh Bashi Mashiach was dealing with Jeremiah, man. But what happened? Whoops. Jeremiah went into captivity. And he was a righteous man. Why? Because it was ordained for him to do it. So this is this is what I'm saying. When you're lukewarm, you're gonna be destroyed, man. All right, it ain't no, it, it, it ain't no uh, respected persons. First Peter one and seventeen. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons, judging according to every man's word, pass the time of your sojourn here in fear. You see, so Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Shai is a. Uh, Judges every man according to his work without respect to a person, man. So it's about your actions, man. It's about your it's, it's about your actions inside the book. So we got to get this thing out of our head. Well, Yahweh Shai is gonna uh, pass me over because I I uh, you know uh, I've been watching videos. No, man. Uh, First Kings. Eighteen. First Kings 18 and verse 21 and Elijah came unto all the people and said how long hath ye between halt ye between two opinions being lukewarm if Yahweh Bashim Yashah be power follow him but if Baal then follow him and the people answer him not a word you see, because people people are are, are, are ashamed of Yahweh Shai, man. Because we because the the the, the elect the men and the and the few sisters that's gonna follow this word aren't gonna be torn between two opinions, man. You know, being lukewarm. Alright, let's go to uh let's what what word was I was I just looking? Let's go look at let's look at Baal real quick. Strong's H eleven sixty eight Baal Baal and the form just below that Baal Baal All right Baal Lord uh supreme male divinity of the Phoenicians or Canaanites so so Baal was a was a god of the Canaanites man All right. Let's go back. So see, so 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 Elijah was saying, "Yo, you gonna serve our power? Yeah, how about you, Are you gonna uh, serve by all man? Uh, another 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 deity? All right. See, so that's being lukewarm. Two opinions." Um, second address nine, and let's start verse seven. It says, Everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith wherein you have believed. So, you have to have faith and works, you see. And we just read that every man's gonna be, uh, Judge according to his works. All right. So we have. So the works is is the, is a doctrine, man. The the whole the whole scripture, the whole role. 
uh, shall be preserved from set perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from for me from the beginning. And that's the elect. That's uh, that's that's that you can read about in Ephesians chapter one. You know the ones that were uh, that were uh, you know uh, creating creating the heavens and the earth where Yahweh shot the Allah Hayyim. Uh, it says, then there shall be pitiful case, which now have what? Have abused my ways. And they have cast them away despitefully, despitefully shall dwell in torment. See, so that's why I just said, you know, when you, when you, uh, you know, when you aren't doing the will of the, of the father, man, you're going to get judged for that, man. Your, your, your life is going to be a living hell. All right. And they that have cast them away, despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits of have have not known me, why? Because do you, how do you receive these benefits by by the spiritual demon Satan? Because because Satan rewards you when you when you don't do right. You know when you do righteousness, you get rewarded by your Habashim Yashai. But when you do uh, wickedness, you get rewarded uh, uh, through the through the power of Hashatan, man. Just like with the uh, with this music industry, you know what I'm saying? All these all these uh, these clowns, these these. Uh, these, uh, uh, I'm a, well, you know, moles, I'm gonna call them, you know what I'm saying? Moles, you know, they, they, they're up, uh, flashing all this, 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 um, diamonds and, you know, expensive champagne and cars and boats. But who's, who's, who's giving that to them? That's not Yahweh Bashim Yasha. That's, that's receiving benefits of, uh, Hashatan, man, through, through the power of, uh, I mean, through Esau. It says, uh, and they that have loathed my law, what being lu lukewarm, while they had yet liberty, meaning this grace period, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. See, so people are going to be despising the the, uh, the blessing that Yahweh Yahweh has given us by sending Yahweh Shai to be uh, our uh, our grace, man, right? Our liberty. See, so what? What? So we're under grace. But what is what is grace supposed to uh, teach? When you read Titus, it's, it says that it's supposed to teach us um, to deny ungodliness, man, and worldly lusts. Uh, it says uh, the same must know it after death by pain. Right. So you're gonna, to, in order for you to die, you're gonna die by pain. It's gonna be a painful, painful way to die when you're lukewarm. Uh, it says, and therefore be not thou curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and whom was the world uh, and for for whom the world was created. See, so the elect are not going to be uh, worried about how the ungodly is going to be punished, man. Why? Because the scriptures say that that every man has his own lot. So some may, some are going to be reserved for those missiles. Some may. Uh, die in these race wars, but we're not worried about how the ungodly shall be punished, because that's what they get, man. You know what I'm saying? For playing around. Ain't nobody ain't nobody playing around, man. It says, but inquire how the righteous will be saved, who the world is, and who the world was created. Why? Because when you read, um, uh, what's that, Sirach, uh, 10, it talks about, um, you know, that, that the world was made for our sakes. Is that Sirach 10? Let me see. Uh, Sirach. Ashlaki, uh, Second Ezra, I'm tripping. Second Ezra, uh, 6. Second Ezra 6 and, uh, 59. All right. Second Edge 659 says, if the world will now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? You see? So uh, the world was created for our sakes, man. Every every step inch that you set set foot on, that's yours, man. That's who the that's who Yahab Bashim Yahab Bashim created it for. But we've uh, we we're under captivity right now, so hey, we we, we endure these uh the tribulations and perils, man. You know? Uh, let's go. Uh, then, then answered I and said, I have said before and, 
and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be many more many more of them that which perish that them which shall be saved see so we don't want to be lukewarm man because when you lukewarm you you, you think you're going to be saved man you think you know what i'm saying you think everything is all good man but it's gonna be many more of them that perish of them that that which is saved right and then it says like a wave is greater than a drop so the wave is the people that's going to get destroyed man and, and, and a drop of that wave is going to be the ones that's that, the ones that's going to get delivered all right so we don't want to uh uh tempt the most high to uh to destroy us man What's that? Uh, Yahweh Shah said that in uh, in in Luke. Whoops. Uh, Luke four. Luke four and and twelve. And Yahweh Shah answered answered. Answering and saying to him, it is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God, man. So when you so when you're tempting, uh so when you are doing your own will, you know, when you're when you're walking in your own laws and statutes and thinking that, well, you can keep you can keep some uh some some laws and the other ones are just all right, well, I'm I'm I, you know, I'm I'm doing it. I'm I'm at least I'm at least I'm trying. No, man. Either you're gonna do what you're gonna you're gonna give your life to your house about or you're not. The scriptures say that we've been brought with a price. Your life is not yours. You owe your Habashi Meshah, man. Especially if you're walking in this truth, man. You owe your Habashi Meshah your life, man. Even more than what we can we, what we can give back. Alright. So uh let's go to um Uh, James 1. Whoops. Uh, James 1 and 8. It says a double-minded man is as stable as all his ways. So when you're double-minded, when you're lukewarm, you're going to be unstable in all your ways, man. And that's why you just can't get right, you know? And that, that and then that's that's just judgment, you know what I'm saying? Let's go uh last one, let's go to Ezekiel uh thirty-three. Cause you cause you cause Yahweh said that he has no death uh uh pleasure in the death of the wicked, right here. Ezekiel thirty three and verse eleven, uh saying to them, As I live, saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but what? But that the wicked turn from his way and live. You see, so a lot of a lot of Jakes that, that are in the truth think that they're good, man, but they're actually still wicked, right? It says, "Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Yasharala? So why, so why will you die, man? You know the truth. Act like it. You know. We 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 we're blessed to have this knowledge, man. We're blessed to even understand the things that's going on in this world." You know, we owe Yahweh Bashim Meshire life, man. And that's why the scriptures say that that the, the elect will not love not their lives until the death. Alright. So with that, I want to give uh most high willing this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakadash. You know, double honors to the elder apostle Great Millstone, Kwame Sharala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.